Mark Schaffner says he's looking forward to Merrick Moore Park, where the city plans to build an aquatic wonderland with plans for a lazy river, water slides, and a climbing wall in four years. So it's really nice to be able to take them in the middle of the summer and have uh, access to that kind of cool like play in the water type stuff. The project will be funded by a bond that was approved by Durham voters on election day. $85 million will be put toward park projects that include this vision and a new pool connecting trail and new play areas at Long Meadow and East End Parks. Schaffner says he voted yes, thinking about the future upgrades as a parent of an almost two year old son. I'm glad that they're wanting to take care of the city and improve the like ability to walk around and have like that infrastructure to support more people just being able to walk instead of having to drive everywhere. We are going to have safer streets, we're going to have safer sidewalks, we're going to have more parks and enhanced parks. Durham Mayor Leonardo Williams says they're doing what they need to do to take care of the Bull City. And although some areas of the city's parks are still closed off after lead was detected in the soil, Durham Parks and Recreation Department Director Wade Walcott says cleaning up those parks are still on their mind as they look to an overall future vision of better infrastructure. The state continues to be a great partner. They're continuing to be in all of our parks and continuing to get more analysis and doing more soil samples. So we all the city and the community can understand what we're dealing with. Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.